Gemini, welcome into your reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Gemini. We are going to be allowing your spiritual team to choose their own decks in this reading. So they're going to use the pendulum and they're going to choose three different decks that lay out on this table. But you too, Gemini, are going to choose three different decks as well. Before I begin, I will show you each one of the decks. And we're going to see how many of the decks that you choose matches with that which your spirit guide has chosen. If you are getting three out of three, please comment below and let me know how much you're getting. Many people get three out of three and even in the order that I am choosing them. So mind-blowing, Gemini. So what we're going to do, first of all, is name these decks for you, show you the crystals that are on here. So we have got Kyanite coming in here with the Keepers of the Light. There we go, Kyanite. We have got Wisdom of the Sacred, sacred Realms with Zambian Citrine. I hope you can see. Okay, the light is not that bright, but it still reflects quite a lot. We have got Dragon's Blood, okay, Dragon's Blood with Sacred Traveler Oracle. Love this crystal. There we go. We have got Ruturated Quartz, another one of my favorite crystals with Spirit Animal Oracle. It's so clear and shiny. I'm just saying Spirit Animal Oracle. We have got Amethyst with Angels and Ancestors Oracle. We have got this beautiful Quartz Point with Angel Answers. And we have got a beautiful tiger's eye. If you don't ever have a tiger's eye, you should just get one. Everybody should have a tiger's eye with starseed oracle. So we are going to go into a little bit of a breathing, but if you already know which decks you want to choose, then you can jump a little bit ahead in the video. You can even go into the timestamps below and jump straight into the reading if you want to. Otherwise, you can stick around with me. I do this breathing for me and for you as well, especially if you're not sure which deck to go for. This will really help to clear your energy. It also helps to raise your vibration because in a tarot reading, um, to actually get the messages you need to be getting from your spiritual team, your vibration needs to be a little bit higher than what it is when you're normally just walking around and making coffee or whatever so to raise your vibration it's like you're going to meet your spiritual team halfway so that you can connect with them on a deeper level so let's get into that we're going to take three quick breaths and i'm going to call your spiritual team in so relax get comfy okay first deep breath in hold your breath at the top of your breath for a few seconds And release it fully. Second deep breath in. At the top of your breath, please imagine a very bright white light that just shines at the top of your head. That's your energy. That is you. Release your breath. Third deep breath in. And at the top of your breath, I now call in your spiritual team. Thank you so much for being here. Guide us and show us what we need to be hearing and need to be seeing in this reading. Release your breath. Let's begin. Let's see which one of the decks is going to be the first deck for you with regards to a message, Gemini, that you need to hear at this time. So let's see what's going on for you here, Gemini. What has been going on in your world, Gemini? How are you doing? Comment below. Have you been okay? Has life been treating you well? My brother is Gemini. We get along with like a house on fire. You know what I mean? We still get along so well. Ah, we've got the Ruturated Quartz with Spirit Animal Oracle. And the second deck, let's have a look and see. For my Geminis out there, what is going on with you? What do we need to hear at this time? Mentioning time, my readings are timeless. So whenever you do receive it, it is meant for you to get the message. In the world of spirit, time does not exist. Okay, so we have got angel answers for you. The third deck 
for my Gemini, so what do we need to be receiving, where, what text do we need to be getting information from for you. And remember Gemini, every five days or so, I go back and check the videos and I look at the video that has got the most views, okay? Mm -mm, not yet. And then I give that video an extra reading to say thank you to you guys. So let's see. We are going to the wisdom of the hidden realms. This is going to be an interesting reading, okay? Because of the combination of decks that have been chosen, we have got the spirit animal oracle. Let me move these ones out of the way safely. We have got angel answers. And we have got Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. This is another deck by Colette Byron Reed. Um, I do read with her tarot cards as well. She's got, she's got an absolute beautiful vision when it comes to sharing a message. So I'm really curious to see what will come up for you guys in this reading. So let's move my crystal safely out of the way. I tend to drop them, so give me a heart attack. And let's have a look and see for you, Gemini, what is going on? What message do we need to receive at this time? Show me, Spirit Guide, what I need to see. Reveal to me what I need to be hearing. Let's have a look and see. Okay, that card gets my attention. Oh, I love this card, okay? Because I love anything that's got to do with crows and ravens, obviously. But this is White Raven Spirit. Oh Lord, trust in the magic, trust in the magic, oh boy. And I just picked up Spirit Guide saying speed, so there's something that's going to happen with speed. Um, I love the way that I've got the, my little smudging feather over there, you know, and it's got all white feathers as well. Um, I feel like there's something that's coming in with speed. And it's going to be quite like, wow, okay, what's going on with me? Um, a change that takes place. I'm hearing Spirit God saying opportunity. There's an opportunity coming in for you that comes in very quickly. I see you having to do a lot of different things, running around a bit. I'm very kind of excited. Um, a big shift that's about to take place for you. You're going for this. I don't see you holding back. Okay. So I just saw somebody kind of like running around, maybe packing a bag. Or, or needing to go do something very excited energy like this i can't believe this has happened so i'm liking what's coming up here okay i saw what i saw okay it's this card be assertive yeah that's the energy that i was picking up on this kind of energy of somebody really running around taking action making movements doing something being very very kind of like busy um running around to the point where you are being assertive it's like you, you do, you're doing something here this could be something that you've been doing for a while. It could be something that you've been working on. There may be moderate success for you. You may be, you know, making a living or you may be having life going. But I see a shift taking place here that's got you so excited that you're really going, wow, you know, I cannot believe this is happening. And I do feel like you're already being assertive. The once this, this event takes place, like something's coming very quickly, it's an opportunity. And once this comes in for you, it's almost as if um, you're going to be even more assertive. You're not going to allow it to pass you by. I feel like you're going to jump on this very, very quickly. I think it's going to be a bit of a surprise for you. Maybe those people around you as well. Okay. A bit of a like, whoa, 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 what is happening? A lot is happening all at once. So let's have a look and see. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service. Whoa. Let's have a look and see what it says here. Selflessness, humility consciousness conscious action yeah i do feel like you have been trying to reach a goal here or you've been trying to do something so you have been taking conscious action you have been assertive in some kind of energy you may have been trying to get something right and you know how it feels to me it's just so weird it feels like um like you've got a lot of competition in what you're doing and it feels like, you know what I pick, or I pick up on here? I almost pick up on this energy of um, like somebody trying to get an acting role. It just comes to my mind, you know what I mean? I'm sorry. If it may not be your story, but I'm just using it as an example. And you've been doing stuff. You've been going out there and you've been applying. You've been putting yourself in. You've been going through interviews. You've been assertive. And you may have believing in the magic already, trusting in that you're going to get what you want. And it's almost like maybe people around you maybe don't really believe in the magic, you know what I mean? And it's like you're going, no, 
no, this is going to happen for me. I know this is going to happen for me. I, can, I believe in the magic and you, you are pushing. And there's, there's this, this moment here where you got this high, the high Lord of gratitude and service where I feel like this is really, you know, we've got a karmic energy coming in here. We've got the uh, Dalai Lama's image on the card there. So I feel like it's like you've been giving and giving, you've been doing the right thing. You've been pushing in the right direction. You've been doing all the things you're meant to be doing. It's just that maybe some people might have lost a bit of faith in you or they don't believe it may happen for you or they think you're just chasing after an empty dream or maybe you've been doing it for so long and you're not really getting to that place of success that you want to be and the next moment you get an interview call and you go in and you do this interview they call you back and they tell you you've got a lead role you know in a big situation a big play or a big movie or something crazy like that you know it's just this example of what is going to happen and there's so much excitement there's so much things happening where you're kind of running around and i think people around you are just looking as well and they also just like they can't believe what they see you know this is a whole story just been shown to me so it's quite interesting so i like the vibe of what i'm picking up on here let's get in here you have been waiting oh yeah hangman coming into a reading you have been holding on, you have been waiting for the magic to occur, for something to shift. And I feel like you're not just sitting down there doing nothing. I really feel like you are putting in the effort, you are moving forward and you are doing what you need to be doing to make this happen. In fact, this is, is how it is going to happen for you. It happens for everybody like this. There's no such thing as overnight success. And it's a lie <laughs> because even people who achieve overnight success, that's yes, only the beginning of the journey. Because what ends up happening is in overnight success, you just jump so high. And then all of a sudden, um, boom, that's when the real work starts. So there's no overnight success. I know with my channel as well, I opened my channel in 2019. And within a space of like, um, maybe like eight months, I got to 10,000 subscribers when I first started and I was just like whoa what is going on and then that was like wow it just happened so quickly and then the real work began that is when you had to really get the hangman energy and really stick it through and really push and push and push and that's no matter what level you reach you're never really there so it's never an overnight success it's hard work so everything that you've been putting in is to take you to another level but from that level, it will one more time be a hangman to get you to the next level. It will always be that way. And I feel like you've got the staying power. That's what I feel. So you got, yes, to do, yes, whatever you're doing here. Wow. It's like I'm saying Gemini. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to accomplish here, I feel like it's it's competitive. I feel like you've got a lot of competition. You've got a lot of people um, up against you, maybe even disagreeing with what you want to do, or maybe people who don't believe what you can do can happen. But I see you working diligently. I see you working very, very hard and to be able to create something and you holding on to this dream. It's like you're trusting in the magic. That is how it is. If you want something, you have to have a complete, uh, you have to have your blinders on completely. It must be there's only this one reality that I have, and it is this, and that's it. And people may look at you and go, yeah, but look now, you're being a loser or whatever, because it's not working. But they don't understand that everybody who ever got anywhere in life went through all of that. They were a loser. They did fail a thousand times, you know. They did face um, problems. They did have to go through things and, and recover from things and rethink things and do things in a different way and keep on big, trying to figure it out over and over again because that is ultimately how people got to be where they are. That is what they did at the end of the day. That got them there. So look at you, Queen of Earth Energy. If you are worried about stability here, and I, I'm hearing Spirit God say confidence. Um, if you're not confident, maybe with regards to what is coming or even what you are doing, even though you're pushing, 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 maybe things are not really moving the way you want, um, you will be gaining some confidence. She is absolutely confident. She is so gorgeous and she knows what she wants. She's also feeling much more stable in life, which adds to the confidence. So I feel like, yes, there's also money coming in for you and life stability coming in because the Queen of Pentacles talks about how you are feeling in your life with regards to stability and the queen of pentacles is showing up as saying you're feeling confident you're feeling powerful in life i love it so much uh, 
no wonder you had the Queen of Pentacles because next to it you have the Two of Pentacles rocking up here. I feel like that is a beautiful healing that's going to take place. You know, I think one of the problems that you may be having because you do have the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles is money may not be enough. You know what I mean? Money, money, money. We have to rethink about money. We grew up from very small, being nicely brainwashed to think that money is bad that it causes problems think about all the things you were told as a child about money money is the root of all evil said who um money changes people it makes people bad rich people are bad um you know all these funny things that we get taught about money it ingrains inside of us it becomes a belief system that we carry and the problem is with life life will give you what you believe so it won't give you money to protect you from becoming a bad person or maybe that's what you're doing subconsciously you're going um i want to have the money but at the same time rich people are bad or maybe if i have money i won't be happy you must choose between money and happiness even i used to say that as well i used to be like if i had to choose between money and happiness i would choose happiness you know whoever didn't say that but at the end of the day you're broke you can't pay your bills you don't have enough money to go around are you going to be happy no you can have money and you can have happiness okay and there are people who have money and they don't have happiness so it's it's like a real distinction between these two different things money doesn't bring you happiness okay it's true money will not bring you happiness but um breaking down on the highway and you can't call somebody to help you or breaking down on the highway because there's no petrol in your car that's also not going to bring you happiness as well you know what i mean so let's face reality let's see you've got a six of water here for some of you guys this could be codependency in some kind of way that you are codependent on somebody or you could have codependence dependent on you there seems to be a lot of responsibility here. You also, I feel like it's tied to this card as well. The gratitude and service and selflessness and humility. In some kind of way, possibly your dream could be associated to children in some kind of way. Or caring for nature or caring for animals in some kind of way. With the Six, six of Cups coming in here. There could be something that you wanted to do since you were a child as well. A dream that you had since you were a child. For some of you... Your dream involves helping others or giving something back and um, doing something that's going to help the world in some kind of way, which is absolutely beautiful. I love that so much. Um, a lot of people, especially in the time that we are currently living in, a lot of people are being called again to help nature and to help animals who are suffering out there. So you could be one of those people coming up here with the Six of Cups. You could have learned a love for animals when you were younger as a child um, or even to care for the elderly or care for children in some kind of way. Um, I really feel like this, whatever it is you want to do, it's actually going to benefit and help people, which is really nice. It's not just like, like it can even be you benefiting and helping members of your family, younger siblings that you have older parents your own children cousins that you have that know that need the help i feel like when you do have this like this confidence this financial stability here you're not only going to be thinking about yourself but without a doubt i can see you're going to be helping so many people outside of you as well so that's a very positive energy and the empress coming in here how caring and loving is this gemini you are so so gentle and it's so interesting because you guys can be so contradictive you know i know you've got a smushy smushy heart okay because i know my brother i grew up with him and he can act very like i don't care but inside his heart mm -hmm, we know it's made of marshmallow okay and he really does care sometimes he'll be like oh whatever you know i'm not going to look after a pet or anything and then he'll come around to my house and he can't stay away from my cats and he's playing with them all the time so we know you got a caring heart but i feel like this is a beautiful energy it's so beautiful to see these two energies together there's some kind of like emotional place that you're going to be finding yourself i feel like you're confident in where you are and um, I feel like you're really going to be caring for those around you because the Empress is another energy of caring for others around her as well as herself. It's a beautiful energy of self-love. I feel like there's going to be such a shift. I just heard Spirit God saying there may be some instances or times where others who had to care for you. Maybe your family members had to help you with money or give you a place to stay. 
And it's like, you're going to come back and surprise those family members. You're going to be like, what can I do for you? And they're going to be like, what do you mean? And they'll be like, I see your car is broken down. Here, go get it fixed. And they're going to be just absolutely mind blown at what this is for you. I feel like this is a beautiful change coming in. And I feel like you're going to be surprising a couple of people out there. So let's see. The Ten of Air, beautiful. This is a lot of what you've been going through. It literally comes underneath the hangman. Imagine. This is what you've been trying to change in your life here. The hangman coming with the Ten of Swords underneath talks about what life has been dishing up for you. What you've been experiencing. It's a Ten. It's a Ten. You have been waiting for this Ten to come in. You have been waiting for this ending of a difficult time to come in. The wait is no more. I actually got an energy of speed coming in here now as well. We'll see what cards come up, but I feel like this is coming in a little bit quicker than what we we're expecting. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got a page of air coming up here. This is come and it's literally coming right after the 10 of air. It is like, that's crazy. The 10 is an ending of a cycle right next to it in air energy is a page, the beginning of a new cycle, a new way of thinking, a new way of experiencing this world, a new way of thinking about your reality love this energy so much i love this energy so much i love that there's a difficult time for you that you i think you've been waiting for this to come to an end and finally it shows up for you you're reading i like gemini this is coming in so fast because i felt this was coming in so fast and then we literally get two cards that show up like this right next to the 10 which is an ending of a difficult cycle you have got the page of swords coming in here and you've got the call energy which is the judgment card which is an ending of a negative karmic cycle that you have been going through let's cleanse that card for you okay let's get it cleansed and ready for action um you are going to be ending something that was negative here and you are going to be moving into a new cycle in your life do not have any confusion about your current energy I feel like mentioning this to you because I mentioned I see spirit guides saying um, the the hangman energy. They're showing me back to the hangman energy and the two of earth, and possibly what people have been telling you or what you may be feeling yourself with regards to your life in general. So you may be sitting here thinking to yourself, "What if this is wrong for me? What if this is not meant for me?" You should go check out my pick a card reading <laughs> that I just did. I think like two days ago. It is called "Is This the Right Path for Me?" Okay, um, it's in my Hedge Witch Pick a Card channel. There will be a link below in the description box. Go check that out. Um, you might get some help from that one as well because it goes really deep into the idea of "Is this the right path for you?" And I feel like for you, this is really the right path for you. I really feel like this is where you're meant to be going. Is this at the path that we travel? It's not as easy as we like to think it is going to be a lot of times to reach a, some kind of goal or to accomplish something it is much harder than what we ever believe it to be but what else are you going to do go work at mcdonald's you know what i mean work on this dream because this is where it can change your whole entire energy into the queen of pentacles so this is beautiful look at that nine of fire coming up there i feel like we're looking at back at the hammer and you know it's so interesting how the cards are aligning so we've got all this energy is here happening in alignment with this you've got the two of earth and the nine of fire underneath it um spirit guide is asking you to not look back into your past asking you with regards to the two of pentacles maybe feeling as if you don't have enough to go around or not enough to sustain you in some kind of way don't let that make you feel doubtful nine of wands make the past experiences of what you've had happening give up on your dreams you're going to go through that wall that you're building up around yourself. Maybe there's fear attached in there because you're not seeing the change. You're not seeing the movement, but the change is coming. And I even feel like when it does occur, it's interesting. Do you have like a fear of success? I'm just saying. Because Spirit God says when the change does happen, there was a little feeling that happened inside of me of a little bit of fear rising up. It's like this is actually happening. This is it. This is happening. And it can be a bit scary. People don't think that success is scary. Success is actually scary. You start earning a huge amount of money every month. You're going to get a little bit scared over there. Um, it does happen. It makes you feel like, okay, is this happening? Okay, it's happening. This is happening. And you kind of go, okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Any kind of change is scary. I think we get scared because we're afraid that it may stop. 
you know we get scared because we're afraid that um the new life that we're heading into what is it going to be like will we handle the change are we ready for this do you know what i mean there's like a lot of doubt coming in there but i also feel like you're going to move forward anyway there's too much determination inside of you look at that yes absolutely you're definitely going to you're jumping so fast gemini what is going on overnight success maybe is happening to you but remember you're going to jump and then the hard work is going to start with the seven of wands here you're going to have a jump and you're going to reach some level of success and then you have to maintain that level of success and to climb higher than that but there is like a like put on your seat belt because really gemini i think you're about to surprise some people you literally have a page of air and then never mind the knight of air and the queen of air you're literally jumping straight to the king of air so you got the swords energy coming in here. You're going to see very clearly what this all is. You're going to have clarity. You're going to be witness to this um, in your life. I feel like you're going to witness this events unfolding around you, um, situations unfolding that takes you from this new change, this new beginning, and elevates you so quickly. <laughs> you're going to have to wear a seatbelt. You're going to surprise a lot of different people um, to a place of being in control, being in power, and knowing exactly what your life now looks like. I love that so much. Let's see how you're feeling. You feel like the queen of fire. That's how you're feeling. And um, wow, we've got two queens coming in here. So we've got queen of pentacles, queen of fire, queen of wands. So the queen of pentacles, she feels, okay. The queen of wands, she feels, male or female energy. The king achieves reaches the goal so you reach a goal that's so open and so shown to you that you can see it clearly but you are feeling very safe and very stable in your world and most importantly i love it so much it almost feels like a makeover here um a different feeling about who and how you are a lot of confidence coming in because you've got two queens here one being pentacles one being wands queen of wands very confident energy i also feel like changes coming in with the queen of wands a new you getting revealed somebody else being shown something that has been lying inside of you that you do see yourself becoming this you do see yourself being this this way of life the who you want to be lies here it, it there it is you become this person surprising a lot of people around you surprising yourself so creative in this energy so motivated um so inspired <sighs> just going for your dreams and you know funny thing is because queen of wands can sometimes be seen as um a person in the public eye or seen as somebody who has got recognition for their work or what they do um it's some kind of recognition or fame or something coming in here that shows up in your world because queen of fire can be that also very creative sometimes queen of fire or queen of wands energy is also associated to people who are doing creative careers like um speaking for a living like acting musicians um speakers uh even sales people people who are working business uh people who represent a product these are the kind of people who show up with the queen of wands so that's quite interesting for you as well so whatever you're going to really move into here and what you're going to be doing is going to elevate you in some kind of way that you could even become known um, as being very good in the field that you want to be in or very recognizable people might know you oh you are the best lawyer out there or you are the best doctor excuse me the best doctor out there or you own a really really big business and you're really well known for that or maybe hey you win some awards for acting maybe we're going to see you get an academy award somewhere along the line you never know trust in the magic you see what I'm saying? It can go that far. Because when you reach one level, you're once again going to start at that level and try to reach the next one. It's a never-ending cycle of going higher and higher. And once you know, once you experience the first like, level, you can get somewhere, nothing's going to stop you. You're going to want to get to the next step and the next step. And I see you literally being able to do that and very quickly so there we go gemini thank you so much for watching if this does help you please do hit the thumbs up button because it helps me as well in my channel do also share this video with another gemini even if they are sun moon or rising so that your videos can get more views and i can do an extra reading for you guys by the end of the week otherwise i'm sending my absolute love to you thank you so much for watching bye